All right, we have arrived. This is the entrance. Lots of names of the volunteers or people who are trying to conserve this preserve. Hi, Sina. Behind that is the parking lot. Hello, everyone. We have arrived at Woodland Trail of the Woodland Conservancy. And this is the trailhead, and there's a parking lot, and it's, uh, here's the, the map. It's a four mile loop walk, I'll show you. We're here at the trailhead, and there's a four mile loop. Yep. And there's some uh, World War II ammunition magazine also, so you can see some historical things as well. So they, this is in the Plaquemine Parish, and has 609 acres of forest protected. Uh, established in 2001 so we're gonna take a hike here it's only uh like uh is it 17 minutes from new orleans yeah it's pretty close not too far next yeah. to hong kong market mm -hmm, next to the hong kong market and then they have a brochure here as well and here is the pavilion i think they have like volunteer activity here from time to time for the restoration project all right Okay, so closer look at the map, it's actually a little confusing. So the trailhead in front, the, there's the red trail. Red trail is only 1.1 miles, super short. So you can see the loop here, right here. But then there's a longer, bigger stream that's 5.5 miles going around. There's a square dot and a, uh, a circle dot. So we're gonna try to go to circle dot and try to see the World War II ammunition bunker. All right, we'll try our best to get there. Let's head in. Did you take a picture of the map? Yeah, I did. Left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's very muddy again, right after the rain. That we have our hiking stick and we're in long pants today. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. It's pretty unmaintained, right? <laughs> and after it has been raining for the past two weeks, so it's really, really muddy. Yeah. And what is this caving hole? Go. <laughs> oh, oh, stuck. All right, we're at the split point, and there is another map, which is very nice of them. Let's see. So, they talk about different native species of plants here. And I don't even know where we are. Oh, we're at number one probably. We're at number one. So we're gonna go to number two. Okay, let's take a look at the bridge first and then we'll come back. We're on the bridge, Dina. It's very muddy water. And this goes to the other trail. Wow, this trail is very vegeta vegetative. <laughs> All right, let's head back to the other trail. What are you doing? Trying to be a magician there? Found this Louisiana by Sentinel Cypress Legacy, arrived since 1812. Wow, old tree. So it's the guy's own dedicated landmark. All right, let's keep going on. We're walking along this canal of water.
Hello. So we're 30 minutes into the hike. What do you think about the hike right now? So far. Yeah, so far so good. It's a little muddy, but it's understandable since it has been raining. Um, other than that, it's pretty normal trail. It's um yeah, it's like these rock, mostly rock uh, pebble road. Sometimes muddy dust and sometimes with high vegetation like right now. And you see the vegetation there? So I suggest wearing long pants so you don't get cut in the foot, right? Yeah, the glasses. Yep. And it's pretty hot, I feel. Well, it's really humid here. It's Louisiana, so it's kind of the norm. Kind of. Yeah, it's pretty hot, but it's, it's a little cooler when you have shade. It's partly shaded, mostly sun, right? Like half and half. Half and half. And there's some water, it's kind of dirty water around there. There's a creek. Yeah. But nice hike to get away from the city, not too far. And it's nice that they have these signs to reassure you that you're on the right trail. Yay! We're on the right trail. So we have arrived end of the trail, which is like 10 bunkers. Right there, there's one in the front. Check it out. These are World War II ammunition bunker. Oh, one. Wow, it's big. Doors too. Wow. I'm not going in. So empty what inside the bunker looks like. Pretty spacey. Here's the second bunker. Also empty. This bunker number four. All of the door open. This is the fifth bunker, and we have reached end of the trail. As you can see, there's a metal fences in the front. Left side. Oh, and no trail. They're on the bit water. I guess you have to walk the same way back then. All right, Let's head back. So this is the second row of five bunkers, but we're not gonna walk in there anymore since they're pretty much similar. So we're gonna head back to a car through the other uh, limb of the loop. This limb is um, actually shorter, uh, more straight, I believe. Sina can show us. Where are we? Let's see. Mm -hmm. We're there. So that's the second row. We were at the first row, and then now we're gonna walk this, and then just straighter, straighter, straighter to our car. All right, let's go. Hey guys. We have made it back to the trailhead, right? Yeah. So on the way back, we took the shorter path. The yeah, shorter we took route. the short. And the more straighter one. It took us an hour from the World War II ammunition to the trailhead. 
basically you're supposed to make the giant loop like this. Yeah, it's a 5.5 mile, but we didn't. We did the small loop of both, right? Yeah. The, the directly to see the war bunker. Yeah, let's go take a rest at the Daybrook Pavilion over there. And then talk about what we think. Uh, Uh, so we didn't rest at all the whole trail, right? Yeah. There's a lot of mosquito, we didn't want to sit down, right? Yeah. Uh, 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 so what do you think? Uh, it's not very strenuous, but it is not very maintained. Yeah. Yeah. Um, a lot of vegetation grew on the trail, so it's not... I guess it's not like you have to make your own way through those. Yeah, it's pretty not as easy as I thought. Look at my pants. So muddy. Oh well. Oh muddy. And we did come at like, it, like I said, multiple times. Um, it rained for every day in the past two weeks, so that's expected everywhere on the trail. So mm -hmm. it wasn't too bad. I mean, there are puddles mm -hmm. and. They're not like last time. No. Yeah, like, we went to the other one. I guess it's a it's a it's a nice uh, get out. So it's very enjoyable, but not much scenery to see except for the World no. War II ammunition bunker. Right? That's the only not, thing to that, see. That's not even very <laughs> worth checking out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just like a, oh, you see one, it's like okay, and but no. there are ten. <laughs> yeah. so. Yep. So would not recommend coming here again. I guess. Yeah, I mean, once it's enough. One time is good enough. I, I mean, there's no animals either to see. We saw a snake. Stina got scared by the snake. She jumped. <laughs> Took us two hour and... 30 minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah, with picture and photo, video. Pretty easy, I guess, for the time. Two, two, yeah. two hours. Okay. And there's no up and down. Mm, very straight. Yeah. Yeah. And... Um, very hot. <sighs> I know, it's really, really hot. Mm. I guess I wouldn't recommend it if you're just visiting New Orleans. No, no, no. Like it's not it's worth. More for a local if you want to. Yeah, it's like take if you walk. If you live nearby. You don't want to drive too far for nature. Yeah. Yeah. No so, water to play with. Dirty water. Yeah. yeah, and there's no alligators or anything. So. I mean, yep. overall, it's a nice trail for locals. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. We're gonna get, get something cool and drink avocado smoothie. Sounds good right now. Thank you for watching our video. JS Adventure is a snippet of our daily lives and travel. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. See you guys next time. Bye bye.